Hey there, Wastelanders, and welcome back to War Games and News Radio for another episode of Wasteland Workshop, where we're making Nuka Cola bottle caps. You can use these as objective markers in Fallout Wasteland Warfare for your cosplay needs, or for action point trackers in Fallout 2D20, or if you just want to have some decorative bottle caps to keep around the house. And of course, you can always use them as currency if the world comes to a crashing end. Whatever you might need Nuka Cola caps for, I'm going to show you how to make a whole batch of these in just a few hours with a handful of materials. First, scour the wasteland for some caps. The more beat up, the better, but any type will do. Some PVA glue, I prefer using the Elmer's clear stuff myself. Some Nuka Cola Classic decals, you can find a link to the template that I used in the description down below, as well as some Nuka Cola Quantum, Nuka Cola Quartz, and Nuka Cola Victory decals, and again, you can find this template down below. A rattle can of spray primer, as well as some red hobby paint, and an old brush that you really don't care about. Once you've got your caps collected, it's time to give them a coat of primer. To get them ready to go, I'm going to take some sticky tack and ball it up, put it on the back of the cap, and then place them on the board. This is as good a time as any to mention that I do not have any trademark claims to Nuka Cola or any follow products whatsoever. These are entirely for home use, and I do not recommend selling these in any way, shape, or form, and I'm definitely not doing that. With the fine print out of the way, we have 20 bottle caps ready to go, so let's go get them primed. And there we have it, a bunch of now primed bottle caps. These ones got a little bit of condensation on them because I accidentally dropped this board in a snowbank, but hey, that's living in Canada for you. That's not really a big deal because this prime is just gonna give us enough of a base coat that we've gotten over the original branding and give our paint something to stick to. It's time to get these off the board and then prepare to get them painted. Next, it's time to cut out all of your Nuka Cola decals and get them ready for the gluing process before it's time to paint. With all of your caps now primed and ready to go, it's time to get them base coated. I used Vampire Red by the Army Painter for my red base coat, but you could use any hobby store acrylic that you've got kicking around. You could even prime them red from the get-go if you wanted to save yourself a step and a little bit of time, but I only have gray and black primer on hand, so that's what I used. With so many of these to do, I decided to batch paint them on the board, but here you can see the one that I did on the painting handle is almost dry, so it's time to prep our decals. To get our branding on, we're going to make a bog standard mixture of PVA glue and water. This eyedropper has PVA glue and water that I had pre-mixed together, but we're going to mix them up together in this bucket till we have a nice sticky goo and get to our paper macheing. This is a pretty unscientific process. You're going to go ahead and mix these decals in the solution and then slather them onto the cap itself. Repeat this process enough times until you have enough wasteland counterfeit currency to make John Caleb Bradburton proud. If you want to weather these, you could give them a quick wash with some very watered down black paint, or even a dry brush with a light metallic would give them a bit of a weathered and worn look to them as well. But if you're looking for a way to give your follow tabletop gaming that little extra Nuka Cola flair, then this might be the quick and dirty project for you. Use them as objective markers for your Fallout Wasteland Warfare games by taking your markers and using that same sticky tack to put them on the bottom. You can use them as action points and follow 2D20, or just for cosplay needs, or like I said, to barter out there in the wasteland. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to help support WGNR, then consider heading on over to our Patreon page, where you can become a Chosen One level member. There you can get double entry into future WGNR giveaways, access to exclusive polls where you can help choose the content here on the channel, as well as become a named character in a future video or battle report. Your support means I can make more videos more often, so thanks again for watching, and stay tuned, because WGNR will be back.